This is NASA's Juno spacecraft, and here's where it is right now, getting closer and closer each day to Jupiter. Now that on its own may not sound that impressive, but Juno has just broken the record for the farthest distance ever traveled by a solar powered vehicle. Juno has reached a mind boggling 793 million kilometers from the sun. The previous record holder was the European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft, whose orbit peaked out at about 792 million during its approach to the comet back in 2012. NASA's Jupiter-bound spacecraft was launched in 2011 and is the first solar-powered spacecraft actually designed to operate at great distances from the sun. So how is Juno going to still operate five times further from the sun than Earth, where sunlight is that much weaker? Well, the spacecraft is carrying three nine-meter solar arrays with almost 19,000 individual solar cells. The massive solar arrays will be picking up 25 times less energy from the sun by the time it reaches Jupiter in July, but those big solar panels are very effectively designed and will be more than able to get the job done. Juno will also avoid Jupiter's shadow once it reaches the planet, taking a polar orbit, and that will make sure it will constantly get some kind of radiation. Before Juno, only eight spacecraft have navigated the cold, dark space as far out as Jupiter, including Cassini and Voyager, and all have used nuclear power sources. The energy from decaying plutonium isotopes are harnessed in a thermonuclear generator. The decision to go solar was in part to test out the feasibility of a long-distance solar power for future missions, much more efficient and cost-effective. What's next for Juno? Well, the spacecraft still has another 40,000 kilometers to go before it reaches the Jovian world this summer. Juno will orbit Jupiter a planned 33 times, skimming to within just 5,000 kilometers above the planet's cloud tops. During the flybys, Juno will probe beneath the obscuring cloud cover of Jupiter to learn more about the planet's structure, atmosphere, and magnetosphere. Juno is all about pushing the edge of technology to help us learn more about our origins. And as the Juno principal investigator put it, it just seems right that the sun is helping us learn more about where we came from. And now, you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.